Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore agricola. Playing an EIK WM France deck. Um, four player game with Ad Hoc and Eason uh, Wisvin. Looking at my first pile, I see Lady in Waiting, and House Steward's good to make note of, but I think Lady in Waiting is the best card here. Um, yep, Patron's good, Guildmaster, House Steward, I'm going to get a good card back here, Plowman, Woodcarter, definitely going to get something useful back. Ooh, well, I probably don't want to pass the patron tutor, and I think I'm going to get something useful here, potter, parquet setter, quarryman, all those could be wor worth something. I could even try a tutor plus minimalist game with late in waiting, go for pretty farm. It was probably the best card in that pile anyways, so worth taking it. Looks like we're just waiting on Anise for a bit. Alright. Um, well, I always like Farm School Graduate. And with Tudor, you always want to play more occupations, but uh, the timing with Farm School Graduate's really awkward because I have to play Lady in Waiting in the round four harvest. So then Tudor doesn't get only gets played for four points, which is still okay. But and then it pushes back anything useful even farther. Uh, so I'm looking at Head of the Revolution or Sheep Farmer. I think I like Head of the Revolution here, especially because I can play it late and then fill immediately afterwards, which is always kind of cool when you can do that. Also, with Lady in the wa Lady in Waiting, I want uh, I'm gonna have a low point ceiling farm, so I want to increase my point ceiling. And Head of the Revolution is something that does that really well. The reason Lady in Waiting usually you have a low point ceiling is because you normally don't build a fourth house. Um, and whenever you don't build a fourth house, your point ceiling is a little lower, fourth room. Hmm. Well, carp I know that um, house steward is out there. So carpenter would help me to win the house steward bonus. Alternatively, cattle dealer is pretty cool, especially with head of the revolution. It would make me want to fence 15 total. I think I'm going to take Cattle Dealer. And then this pick should be Plowman. I like Plowman. 
And then if I, I can see what the plow plows are like. Hmm. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna take minimalist here. Let's see, uh, see if I can do something fun with it. Because plowman doesn't want to play a plow, and uh, so really, I'd just be looking for a way to feed, which would be cooking hearth. And I'll take journeyman. Might might be worth a point in a cattle or something like that. Okay. Um, cookies, landing net, crib. Landing net's pretty good. Hard to pass up on landing net. Then if I got guests back, maybe my two I would play two improvements, cooking hearth and landing net. But we'll see. It's too early to I need to see what my miners are like before I decide on minimalist. So I'm really hoping to get Reedstone food in round one so that I can second action play start player landing net and go on Reedstone food again. Let me know how the audio volume is, because um, I'm using my headset again, which I wasn't for a little while, and I hope it's not too loud, especially because I boosted the gain a lot when I was just using my laptop external, uh, external microphone. Ah, wow, do I want to pass Mansion to the potential house steward carpenter player? Probably don't want to do that. I think it's okay for me to do a block pick here. Especially because it keeps my minimalist option open. Yeah, I don't have to play all my occupations. It would just be nice if I could. All right. Um, well, the best card is cash crop by quite a bit. So I'll take cash crop and they don't have any passing miners, so Bad Aramites in the game, One of, or not in the game. One of my favorite cards. Although to be fair, Aramite and Landing Land are not good together. Um. 
Hmm. Well, timetable with mansion is reasonable. But I was leaning towards not playing a mansion game. Don't think I need canoe with the landing net game. I mean, prize winning sheep is a passing discarding thing and grain mill oven it's a way of getting an getting the stone oven for example for very cheap do I want the stone oven hmm it's a difficult question they could take prize winning sheep here I think I'll go for grain mill oven though Wishing I had taken uh, Acrobat. Because then I'd have a good way of using that grain. Um, yeah, so just to keep Minimalist in mind, I'm going to take Guest here. Chocolate and Cookies are maybe a little bit better. Cookies especially. Although I don't have a way of accumulating grain, so that's not really clear. So let's think about this. What could my final farm look like? Three stone rooms, three fields, two pastures. So, and four family members, let's say five family members. So 15, 21, and two is 23, and two is 25. And then three points for cattle, uh, 28. Um, and let's say one and one for the other two, so 30, and then let's say five total points from crops, so that would be 35, and then six points from tutor, 41, and then four points from minimalist, 45, and one point from my cooking hearth, 46. Um, oh, and then if I get three points from Head of the Revolution. So yeah, 49 or 50 should be enough to win. I'm gonna take the best card here and the best card is Turn Rest Plow. And this one really does not matter. Um, friendly pastures, I guess, is maybe slightly more useful. I don't know. It's difficult to say. So I have cheap occupation available to me, so I'll play tutor. I wonder if ad hoc took farm school graduate or else maybe he's just thinking with uh, house steward oh he didn't take house steward okay Anise has house steward well it's not bad that it comes out early do what I think is okay here Go towards my own room. Although the first fireplace would be nice, but 
Don't know when Sheep or Major is going to come out. Guess I could have done Start Player Guest as well. Oh, geez. Ad hoc has Fish Trap. Okay, first pick Fish Trap after. Yeah, before Fish. First pick Landing Net. That's too bad. Well, we'll see how the game continues. See when I get read when I get on t uh, when I get onto the read space. Maybe I don't play fish trap, or maybe I don't play landing net. I should say. If I could get two read, that would be pretty good. Is thinking about something. I wonder. Yeah, two read would be quite good, especially because then if I have nothing good with my second action, I can start player landing that. Oh, okay. Uh, so four clay would be good for me. Yeah, happy to do four clay here. Uh, Ad hoc does have farm school graduate. Yeah. So I would imagine he took carpenter. Hey, Randy. Hope you were doing well today. So if I could get occupation back, that would be pretty good. Otherwise, mm, I might take a grain. Which would be food later on if I decided to build an oven. Yeah, hmm. Not really anything that I terribly want, so let's just take grain. gets to keep start player in round two which is really good mm. I probably want to do occupation and then take one of the food spaces oh, here's evening prayer hopefully that means he's gonna pass me oh fencing master and perpetual student nice hopefully that means he's gonna pass me uh, Oh, uh, ad hoc took patron, of course. I forgot patron was in that pile. Um, so I can do wood, or I can do 
occupation. I think just to be safe, I'm gonna play an occupation here. So second action could be fishing or three wood. I'm pretty sure Worsvin's gonna do Reedstone food because it gets him his second read and it's a better action than two read generally. So I should be able to get two read with my first move and then my second move uh, to be determined, I think. want to play plowman at some point but plowman if I only get two fields out of it that'll be okay like if I play it in say round six or round seven that would be fine because then it's two fields and then if I do plow so once then I get uh or plow field once. going for food okay well I could use food but I don't have any at the moment so I'm gonna take three wood uh, if I get reedstone food then I can second action clay oven Or I just go on day. Yeah, I would rather not do day labor, but looking like my only option at the moment. builds the first room so it means I'm very likely to be the fourth in terms of family growth but with the game that I'm that I have set up I would like for family growth to come out really late yeah because uh, I don't want everybody to grow quickly I want it to happen slow. So I feed for. Not great, but it'll do for now.
Maybe I should consider not doing uh, not building a room and just going for stone as early as possible and then journeyman plus um, journeyman would feed me and then then I could have would have room for one more field maybe I don't know we'll see Probably building a room is going to be worth it. Interesting, a food on the one sheep space. Very interesting. And on the room space. Hmm. So my guess is that Anise is gonna build the clay the cooking hearth, but then he gives that room food away. So I'm a little confused by what he's doing. Build in a room. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. He's got Dove Hunter then. Well, that's unfortunate for me. Very unfortunate. I think I'm going to reno. Because my feeding is going to be so difficult if I don't. So I'll reno fireplace and then reno cooking hearth and uh, use journeyman to feed. That should work. Yeah, and he scrubs the sheep. Hmm. I'm gonna need. Uh, you know what? I can do two reedstone food actions because I need um, two stone, and I'm gonna need two more reed as well for my uh, cattle dealer. So the question is: Do I reedstone food here, or do I reno? I'll do reedstone food just to block. Uh, Just to block ad hoc from getting activating his fish fish trap. Yeah, this is pretty good for uh Rusevin. To play Potter after Guildmaster, very lucky. I guess it's only a two clay difference for him, but still oh nice no uh no family growth okay yeah i think my my mind is set then 
So Reedstone Food, Reno twice, and uh, play Journeyman as soon as possible. Start getting four food per round from uh, Journeyman, or three food per round from Journeyman. And then that's how I'll feed. And maybe Plowman will get played just for one field. But it's worth it because it's paying a food to gain a point. Probably. Probably it'll be worth it. Hmm. And if I play Head of the Rev if Head of the Head of the Revolution gets me two wood, I'm gonna need fifteen. So I would need one more four wood action. Which should be doable. To defense 15. I won't get to 5. I'll have one fewer point for my stone house. And I won't get to 5 family members if I do that though. Oh man he has plow driver. Oh I wish I had gotten that one. So if I reno here, and then reno next round, I would need a food action to be able to feed. So that means that journeyman cannot be played until round 8 at the earliest. That means it's only going to give me 2 food in round 9, so I'm going to need another food action at that point. Hmm. not sure I think what I'm doing can work but I'm not not sure late family growth is is a help that's for sure it's a big boon for me I just really hope Wusevin doesn't pursue his plow driver too hard. He's already got two fields. Oh, there's Carpenter. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I think at this point Plowman won't get played. Mm. I'm just taking points away from myself all all the time here. If I can cover, can I cover f get four plows without playing Plowman? If I play Turnrest Plow, definitely. But that takes away from my minimalist. I could always take six clay and build a clay room. That's an option.
Not sure that it would be taken, but four wood or reno or six clay. I don't know. I think feeding in that next round is going to be, next harvest is going to be so difficult. <sighs> but the extra actions are really key. Kind of want to see what uh, Wisman does here. If he builds a room, then that'll inform what I want to do. He might actually take wood, though, and build two rooms at once. Might see that. Oh, he might. He can build two rooms at once already with Carpenter. Right. Yeah, it might be difficult for me to beat Wusvin just because Fencing Master, Perpetual Student, and then Guild Master with Potter. Yeah, jeez. It's been a food tight game and, and Perpetual Student is giving him a ton of food. I'm not sure. Not sure how I should be playing this. I'm not sure that my point ceiling will be high enough, but also my feeding sucks. Landing that, uh. Not doing what I would like it to. But at this point, I think it's my best chance, so. Especially with family growth coming late. And he's doing 43 seconds per turn. Jeez. So slow. Hopefully I get one of those really good clay actions.
And I feed four. Field Watchman. Wow. Pretty good. Okay, I think I probably just don't have a chance to win, but we'll see. So if I could get the six wood, that would be ideal because then I don't have to play Head of the Revolution for wood. I can just play it uh, immediately before I do my final plow. Or like if I did round 13 start player, then I play it after the fields are taken so that I can round 14 do stuff. Hopefully I get cheap occupation back so that I can play, because uh, then if I play journeyman, I'm still going to be one food short, so I need a food action next round. I could do my cattle dealer before then. That's an option to get food. But probably I want to do all my fencing at once, so. No kidding. So, um, Wisvin should build three rooms here. Yep. And then I play Journeyman. And then minus food plus cattle. So actually I have enough food. Oh, I won't have enough food for the start of round 10, though. So I still have time to play Plowman. I could play Plowman in this round. So my two actions would be what? Take sheep and then play Occupation. I also want to start plowing.
A little later than normal. So I want to play Cattle Dealer. I want to play Head of the Revolution. And I want to start doing plows. So I'm going to have four actions in the next four. So if I play two, one, if I play one occupation and then I take vegetable and then I plow once, then I would have one free move. feed four and then I remove a food to buy a cattle so that means I need to eat the sheep to make room for it So now I won't have to do any more food actions because of my journeyman. So that's good. And maybe my journeyman will also get me the two single animals that I need, or at least one of the single animals that I need. I have three more occupations to play. How many more moves do I have? I have nine, 13 more moves, three occupations to play, one wood action, one fence action, couple plows, take vegetable, maybe take grain again. Second action will be occupation play cattle dealer. And then round 12, I'll start player play guest. And hopefully, the pl incoming plowman field will be enough for me to uh, get the head of the revolution bonus. I'm a little worried about Wusevin just because he's got two fields done already and he can do a ton of fencing already with his fencing master. But we'll see. Alternatively, I start play around 11 to go for Okay, uh, um, no need for me to play occupation yet, so I'll just take vegetable and Then I gain net three food
So I need to plow two more times and I need to get wood. If I get one wood from Head of the Revolution, that's perfect. So let's hope I can pull that off. So play Cattle Dealer next round and then plow a field probably are my two moves. Okay, now we're starting to go a little quicker, thankfully. Hey, Verindy, how's the uh, audio coming through? Is it all right? Thanks, Rindy. There's some background noise, it's very faint laundry. Uh, good guess, it's actually a rotating fan. Um, yeah. Sorry about that, uh, it's not the ideal place to play, but I get the best internet and no noise from my roommates. <laughs> have to pay two food for a lady in waiting as well. So it's looking like right now I'm not going to get five points from crops. Probably four is more reasonable. So then, but if I get an extra point from animal, that's good, but I've lost a point from my house. So I'm aiming for 48, although that's counting on me getting family growth even without room twice, which I don't know if I can do that. But I think definitely first action, start player, uh, round 12, play guest, then I get family growth around 13 and then uh, yeah and then I'll be at four people and that'll be on my way to respectability might be looking at like a 46 45 point game rather than 48 or 49 because of uh, family growth coming late but again family growth coming late has been good for me absolutely it's been good for me 
But these guys all have good games that are happening. So the only thing that only person needs to worry is a niece needs uh, like swing plow or turn rest. But he needs one of the plows, which he might have. Um, other than that, the guys are all doing really. The guys are all doing really well, really well. So yeah, it's gonna be hard to beat uh, Wiswin, just because Perpetual Student injected so much food into the game. And then Fencing Master is going to give him a ton of uh, wood. So, yeah. He's getting wood and food and whenever he plays an occupation, which is pretty strong. Oh, Clay supports for Anise. Stonehouse Reconstruction for Wisvin. That's great. That's so good because that means he can take stone in round 14 and the reno, his reno can't be blocked. Yeah, it's going to be hard to beat him. So here's family growth. If I get family growth, I definitely do that. Okay, that's fine. I'll start player. Happy to do that. And if I don't get start player, I plow and then play head of the revolution and then fence. You have to be a little careful about Head of the Revolution because Ad Hoc's going to take wood here. Yep. So if I play Head of the Revolution, then he just immediately responds by, by fencing 15 and stealing the points from me. So that's a problem. That means I need to take wood before I play Head of the Revolution. So that means my last two moves should be for wood and then fence. And then if I do still play Head of the Revolution, then I can do two, I have a two stable action, which is something. And then I can maybe stable in case my plow gets blocked as well. So I really want Fence to come back to me, although it might not. Oh, uh, Wsvin's rushing for stone because of his plow driver, of course. Wonder if he'll take one stone. It's as about as good as a plow. Although the plow doesn't cost food, so probably. Oh, he can contract it, contractor it. Oh, really nice. A uh, really strong game for him. Yeah, there's no way I'm beating him. He's gonna be over fifty, and I don't have a chance at fifty. Fence got taken, unfortunately. That's fine. I'm happy to go on plow. Just as long as I get fence next round. So I need to go minus two to get a field and get a cattle.
And fortunately, Ursvin's used all his occupations and Ad Hoc cannot use the occupation space. So playing my last two occupations should be fine. I have a guest as well, which is handy. Oh, this is really good for Ad Hoc, really good. Star player sleeping corner. Fantastic. So if I'm going to do a so action, I probably need to do it like now. Unfortunately, both the plow spaces cannot be blocked, so I cannot play Head of the Revolution before fencing, not in this round. And that's a problem because I need to fence so that I can get food. I have three more actions. It's possible that they come. it comes around to me. It's possible. I mean, if plow so comes to me, I'll happily plow so. He plays the well, okay. So that means there's a plow available for uh, Wusvin. So I'm hoping that he plays. Uh oh, but even if he doesn't, then. Ad hoc's just gonna steal the points from me. So Okay. Well, plow so. How do I not plow so here? If I plow so then my fencing for cattle dealer becomes a lot more awkward. I have to think about this. It's a three point action, but it costs me probably on Head of the Revolution. You know what though? Maybe I'll be able to use stables to fill up my farm. So then I can still fence 13 and then build three stables. That might work. So I'm hoping that my last two moves are Oh, uh, Ad Hoc just played Fence. Okay, so I'm not getting on defense yet. Fence will be for last in the last round. So that means I need to take a food action, like uh, one cattle probably. And then I'll play, uh, well, I can't play Head of the Revolution, because Ad Hoc will, oh, uh, wait, Ad Hoc should have a third. I need seven food so I can afford to play 
an expensive occupation here, which would be minimalist. But then I would have to eat a grain or a vegetable to buy a cattle in the last harvest. Yeah, I've really, I think I really screwed this game up quite badly. Uh, do I give up on Head of the Revolution? I probably shouldn't. Just play minimalist here. It's possible that, um, I don't know, Flagon gets played or something. So three food and a cattle. grain to buy a cattle. Um, you know what? I won't buy a cattle. I'll buy um, buy a, a boar because boar is probably two points. And then if I have to do a food action, I have uh, better moves. I can do just do the best move. Don't need to take cattle strictly for food here. Okay, um, what do I want to happen in this round? I want both the plow spaces to get taken so that I can play um, yeah, so now I can't play Head of the Revolution. Ad hoc is totally playing around my Head of the Revolution. I mean, I got Plow Sow to come to me. That should be good, right? And I also got Family Growth, so I could do either. Plow Sow is one, two points. Family Growth is more. But Family Growth will come back, I think. One, two, three, four actions. One action, Fence. One action, family growth. Can I still play Head of the Revolution for three points? Probably, probably at this point I have better options. 10. Well, I'm going to do this either way. I might need the food. Hopefully my fence doesn't get blocked. Uh, Wusuvin does have the joinery, so it would cost him points to block me. would like to play Head of the Revolution. But as soon as I play it, 
ad hoc just goes on that and then I don't get it. Maybe I'll family growth. Unfortunately, ad hoc is leaving his last action to block to use the space. So yeah, no way that I can play head of the revolution. Oh well, it was always going to be hard for me to beat field watchman and perpetual student fencing master in a late family growth game. Be interested to see what Denise took over fencing master or perpetual student. Maybe he just doesn't like the cards. It's possible. Fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. That gives me two. That appease. Probably the extra is worth it. I could fence tighter. I don't know. Not sure what the best move is. So if I could take two boar or two sheep, that would be good for last action. I need to feed nine. So ad hoc ends with 47. I am sure I'm below 47. That's okay. Mm. So what could have gone better for me this game? Getting landing net out sooner. Yeah, getting landing net out way sooner would have been a big improvement. So I need to feed nine. So cattle, vegetable, sheep. So tutor is five. And minimalist is six. Oh, managed 60. Crazy. So I scored 45 only. First pick landing net versus first pick fish trap. So yeah, so, okay, so I have 45 final points. I'm missing out on head of the revolution. Head of the revolution would have gotten me two, or, I guess only one more point compared to my last action. But yeah, the main thing is just that I didn't have enough, didn't have enough moves. So, Maybe I needed to pl gamble on round 12 family growth and play differently. Also, I needed to do more food actions than I should have because my cattle dealer came out so late because I decided I was going to use the f uh, head of the revolution to get stuff out of it. That plow so, what was that plow so worth at the end? It was worth nothing. 
that plow sow was a big blunder because if I do this, my score is no different and I take the field off. So that plow sow was a huge blunder, just a wasted move. Not a huge blunder, but I, it could have been some other move. If I had still had the grain, it would have been worth it, but because I had to eat the grain to buy the boar, yeah. Yeah, poor game. Um, I mean, it was a yeah, hard one for me. But uh, and like I'm not, never gonna have a chance at sixty. And t to be fair, I did help W. Svin by not family growthing myself, which let him grow super easily, which means that he, you know, just goes farther and farther ahead. But it's gonna be hard to beat the fencing master perpetual student combo when not only is he gaining food but also wood when he plays his occupations. So yeah. If I had more actions, then I could have contested for the guilds, but yeah, we didn't get enough of those, so. Anywho. So yeah, we ended up around, I think I got 45, which tied with Anise, and then ad hoc 47. So we're in a similar range, and then I have a chance of beating them, but I don't have a chance of hitting anywhere near the 60. I'm pretty surprised that um, that, that uh, carpenter got all the way around, considering people saw field uh, farm house steward. Anyways, but yeah, that's all for me. Oh man, I've dropped a ton of frames. Well, I'll upload the um, local recording, which will be better quality. Sorry for those of you guys watching it live. Uh, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed watching this little video, and I'll see you all next time.